Hello everyone, this is Lewis and Alexandra from Micro Center in Westbury, New York, and we are going to get together with you and make a movie. Did you know that you can make a movie that is professional in appearance using free software? That's right! Microsoft provides a free download called Windows Live Essentials. That includes all the software you need to manage your picture and video files and use them to create a great movie to share with your friends and family. Whether you're making a video from YouTube or a movie to show your friends about the wonderful time you had during your trip to Europe, Windows Live Picture Gallery and Windows Live Movie Maker will do the job for you. What do you do? If you're running Windows 7 or Windows Vista Service Pack 2, you are all set to go. First, go to Microsoft.com and key Live Essentials into the search bar. Select Windows Live Essentials, Windows 7 Features, Microsoft Windows. Are you with us so far? You should be at the windows where the second paragraph says you can get it all in one free simple download that includes. The word download is a hyperlink, so click it and then click download now on the page that appears next. Note that you can also have the option to change the default language, which is English. You can also click System Requirements to get more detailed information about what you need to run this software. After the download has completed, you are presented with an option for a full or customized install. I recommend the full install, but you can choose to customize and install only the software items you select. Remember, you need Windows Live Photo Gallery and Windows Live Movie Maker to make the video or movie. Now you are ready to start making a movie. Let's start in Windows Live Photo Gallery. Click Start and All Programs and select Windows Live Photo Gallery. Next, select the pictures and videos that you wish to include in your movie. Notice how I am placing a check mark in the upper left corner of each entry to be selected. When you have finished making your selection, click Create and Movie. This automatically starts Windows Live Movie Maker and you can see your selections displayed. You can remove any unwanted selections by clicking on the selection to be removed and then right clicking and choosing Remove from the drop down menu. This is a good time to select an auto movie theme from those selected in the upper middle portion of your screen. An instant preview is displayed when your cursor is positioned over the proposed option. For this movie, we are selecting Pan and Zoom, and after the selection is made, we are asked if we would like to add music. We will click Yes, and inspect the list of movie files that are displayed and then select an appropriate song. If you plan to publish your work to a social network, right click the song and select Properties. Ensure that the song is not copyrighted, and don't forget to provide appropriate credits at the end of the movie for any music you include. Now let's add a title for the movie by highlighting the first clip. Then click the frame located on the top left portion of your screen and enter the title in the area provided. Next, Skip down to the final clips shown and enter the name of the movie director and the names of the members of the cast. And finally, enter the name of the location where the movie was filmed. Because we are sharing this movie on the internet, we will also provide credits for the music we added.
Now, let's preview the movie, and if we are satisfied, we can save it as a Windows Media file. That is all there is to it. We have demonstrated only a few of the many options that are available to you. So, select some pictures and videos and get started. Jump right in, make a movie, and experiment with many options and features provided. Have fun!